Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. Today's video, I'm gonna go over the boots that I ordered from Wish, guys. They are right here. And to start out with, when these things arrived, they didn't even come in a box. They just came in the, you know, little plastic things like Wish do. The, um, just plastic things like you get in an eBay container. But y'all, these are what these look like. These are considered the Delta. They say Delta right there. Green camouflage boots. And they are really really light okay we're gonna we're gonna take all these i wore them for about 15 minutes yesterday and i can tell you that they're not gonna be my favorite boot but to thrash around uh outside in the woods maybe a little bit i think they'll be perfect if they fall apart on me i mean that cost me 40 bucks okay so 53 after everything probably i wanted to try out some cheap their version of Military combat tactical boots. Sorry, I got something in my ear. Sorry, guys. But anyways, um, so they are suede. Okay, they are very, very, very lightweight, guys. I can just, just lightweight. Okay, number one. They have the cheapest shoelaces I've ever seen on a pair of boots. As a matter of fact, when I started to tie these, all they do is compress together. The shoelaces are not that good. But the overall make of the boot is comfortable. These are a size 10, a US size 10, so when you ordered them, you wanted to put a 44 on there for the European size. They do have a speed zip on the side. It is a very stiff zipper right now, but they're brand new. They do have a Velcro piece that goes over the zipper right there, guys, so the zipper right here. A very, very nice rubber sole. Now, comfortability, I almost couldn't say that word. There is like a composite piece of plastic in here, and you can feel those whenever your foot's going like this in the boot. Very, very thin. Um, just a very thin piece of suede on here. And I don't know how they put the camo pattern on there, but I mean, they look cool. I could feel that rubbing against my toe, and that's the downside right there. Is right here where it wanted to bend is exactly where the the bend is on the second second knuckle of my toes, and I could feel it. But maybe with a thicker pair of socks, I wouldn't feel it that bad. But they fit fit me. I mean, they fit good. But in here, okay, is some like nylon material, and it is camo. If you guys can see that, I know the camera's not that good in here. Um, as far as the this. Like the flap goes, these are extremely comfortable and they fit really, really well, but they are lightweight and I guarantee they are not waterproof. I guarantee it. Plus they didn't advertise to be waterproof. Uh, here's what the inside looks like. Just all green. Really, really nice. Um, you guys can find all different types of prices. Some from China, some from the United States expedited on here. Kind of cheap craftsmanship, I'm just going to be honest, if you guys can see how they sewed that together right up in here where my finger is, y'all. Um, I don't know how well these uh, are actually going to hold together. I guarantee it's a glued on sole, it's not stitched. If it was glued and stitched, like my other ones, they'd probably be better. And I could probably see some brown epoxy right here, right down in there, um, that so this sole was glued on so for cheap boots they are lightweight i'm not asking for something to you know last forever i'm going to try these out during squirrel season in august when it's not raining outside when i can throw these boots on with a thicker pair of socks and just go trekking out in the woods and if they fall apart they fall apart and here's why i don't care they fall apart i got another pair of combat boots coming they're eight inch they're maelstrom i think is what they're called eight inch tactical boots some guys really like those boots according to um youtube and they were only 34 dollars on ebay and they're desert tan and they're probably a lot better quality than these but uh so back here all the way up into here guys is rubber so the rubber comes down in here and then forms the bottom of the boot they have no marking on the bottom but the tread seem different um, you know the tread seem different the stitching quality here and now you can see somewhere some loose ends are up in here on the boot 
The one thing I would switch out is definitely the shoelaces. They're not great quality. Um, you know, I can see right there. You guys see that brown line in there? I, you can see the little line right there at the bottom of that shoe. I think that's where the epoxy is. That they, Yeah, the epoxy that they just glued the sole on with that epoxy and wiped it off. I mean, I'm not asking much out of these boots at all. You know, for the quality standards in here. I mean, I'm... Here's the, you know, where they sewed it together in there and everything. You know, I'm not asking these boots to perform 100%. A lot of reviews on the on Wish showed these boots were really, really nice boots. Again, I only wore them for about 15 minutes. And because I was wearing really, really thin socks that were wore out, the... Uh, yeah, if I can zip these things up right now. Um, the, well, they are zipping up. Give me a second. There we go. It's just stiff zipper. They're brand new. I literally got them yesterday. Uh, the, the, like I said, the little composite toe, which I can feel that runs from right here around here. It's kind of rubbing up against my heels. It's really, really thin. Um, you know, really, really thin fake suede deals. But I can totally see all the way around the outside of the boot. You guys probably can't on camera, but right up in here, you can see the epoxy that they glued these together with. So I really don't know how long they're going to hold up. I think the boots look really, really nice. Again, the shoelaces are an issue. The little uh, composite plastic toe they have right here are an issue. But... Overall, I'm, I'm willing to give these things a shot. Get some decent socks with them, and it may not be so bad. But again, guys, these are Delta boots from Wish. I guarantee they're a knockoff. I've never heard of Delta boots before. But if you guys ever owned real Delta boots, because if these are Delta, they, they might be Delta brand, their brand. But soles are camo. The whole boot's green camouflage. When I saw the picture on the internet, it looked more like multi-cam when I picked them up than this right here, y'all. But, uh, yeah, these are my, my new boots from Wish that, oh yeah, so when they did the leather, instead of putting like a plastic grommet on the other side, it's just a hole that they popped in there like a tennis shoe, and uh, I'm... I'm going to have to do some more testing with these things, but I can tell you, we're in 15 minutes. I walked around a festival, went to the Clayton Anderson concert last night. I'm like, I am not wearing these all day over there. So I brought my tan ones, but I do have a pair of backup boots coming. I just bought boots from Wish to see how they turn out. and I've seen better boots, but, you know, if you're buying these for your kid or something that, you know, going out hunting or whatever, an extra pair of throw-on boots then I really don't see these being an issue. I got some waterproofing spray I'm going to spray down with. Maybe that'll help some silicone spray. But Yeah, guys. Delta 8-inch. I just typed in military boots on uh, Wish, and these are what came up. It came all the way from China. So, y'all, I'm going to get off of here. But here's a look at the boots right here again. And remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And uh, do I advise getting these boots? I mean, they're probably not the best quality boots, but they work. You know, nothing came off yet. But if I do more testing, then I'll let you guys know. All right. So remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.